The title of the show is a reference to a product that um, a company in Brazil makes that is a weapon. So it's an interesting combination of sort of like an interplanetary sort of sci-fi element with a hawk. Because my work uses vectors and uses coordinates and uses this type of precision and playing with precision, even to get into certain situations, I thought this is a funny title. Well, the selection of films uh, here at the M Museum, uh, I wanted to start with the most recent film, which is Strange Magic, and then going back in time. I've always made paintings and film. For me, they're two very different types of activities, but they're always going on in my studio on any single given day. There is um, painting, which is continually happening, which is sort of self-generating and self splintering into new paintings and new uh, compositions, new colors, new places. And then there's the films, which, you know, even if I'm not filming, I'm thinking about a film, I'm planning a film, and I'm uh, researching. Uh, right now, I have two films in what I'd call pre-production. So there's always several things cooking. It's like, you know, it's like being in some strange uh, science lab. Uh, but there's always, there's always two sides uh, of it for me. And in, in a way, painting is very slow, uh, at least my painting. It's very precise. It's a very open structure, even though it's precise. It's very open in the sense of the meaning and the color. And uh, you know, that you follow, there has to be a certain set of procedures followed. And in that openness of how to achieve the physical thing that is phenomenologically a painting, there's all these different other activities that go on, yeah? Uh, some of them involves wasting time, some of it does involve making film, and uh, you know, there's everything in between. So I'm constantly using this structure of the paintings to uh, be able to do, fit in everything I want to do, whether it's reading, whether it's research, whether it's traveling, whether it's talking to people and involving them in the work. There's two types of posters. We've got the posters that are designed by MM, which is the graphic design team from Paris who always design the film posters for me. And then we have the other film posters, which are film posters which I buy and I use as drawing paper, which has this sort of embedded idea of the production of film and the distribution and how it becomes part of history. Yeah, they asked, uh, they asked me to consider making uh, a wall painting, uh, which I do from time to time. Um, not always, but I sometimes make wall paintings. Uh, and um, I saw, came to visit the museum and I really loved this room. So I think this room is very contemplative, the way it looks out over the library and the city and um, the history uh, of the town, and uh, and I wanted to make uh, sort of an, uh, like an extreme juxtaposition. Uh, 